Hi everyone and welcome to Darlene's Creative Studio. Today is May the 1st, 2020 and the sun is actually shining today. Went for a nice long 45 minute walk enjoying some of the sunshine. Just wish it was a little warmer. It's still a little cold here. Uh, but what I've been working on, I've been posting updates on my Instagram account and I thought I would just kind of update you on what I'm working on <laughs> right now in my studio. I'm working on my Reader's Digest series and this is called my Denim Blue series because the spine is made with denim um, on the spines and these are the old vintage Reader's Digest. Now I did create my own spine using Nick the Booksmith's Scholar's Ledger's course. Um, I redid the spines only because when I um, purchased these books um, I was in the States and I wanted to bring them home and the spines were where the the um, spine met here. They were all cracked, and and if you tried to open and close them, they literally just cracked and broke off. So all I did was got a knife and cut all the covers off, um, threw away the spines because they were cracking and breaking, um, and then just brought home a box of covers. So I had quite a stack of covers. Um, so what I'm working on right now is I've done up about 17 different journals. I've got some that have the black spine with the black fabric. Um, uh, they're on my shelf. I haven't done any of the insides. And these are my denim ones. And I'm doing seven of the denim ones. And these are how far I've gotten yesterday or the day before. Yesterday I just sat and read all day long. <laughs> it was just one of those days. It was raining. It was pouring all day long. And I just literally sat and read a book all day. Uh, but the day before, I spent the whole day cutting papers. Um, I went through, all, sorted through all my papers, and I just started cutting papers. And these are my signatures. I haven't um, embellished the signatures. I've just literally cut the paper and put them inside. They're not sewn in. Um, but these are the what I call the the denim series, and I've just put a little fabric um, header there. Uh, I might decorate the front a little bit more, but that's basically how far I've gotten. And I'll show you one of the insides, but. These are the ones that I've been working on, and there's seven of these. And you can see the insides aren't in yet, but these are the covers. This is a nice brown one. This one has little tulips on it. I'm going to call this one Green Clover, because it has little clover signs there. This one has little blue daisies. Green stripes. And then another one with some green stripes. So those are the ones that I've, I've been working on. And these are one are five by seven approximately. They have a one and a half inch spine. Um, that's kind of what I decided to work with. It was a nice, and I can get five signatures in it. Um, and then I made this one for myself. Um, I have a lot of mixed media paper um, pads, and I wanted to use up the paper. And I just recently finished doing a little tiny journal, my little creative journal for the month of April. And I just did something every day, whether it was um, writing in it and or creating something. Um, I was just kind of playing and that's how I kept myself creative every single day. Even on the days when I didn't feel like being creative, I did something each day. And so I just kind of played around with this little tiny journal. Um, and then for May, I thought I would try go a little bigger. So I decided to create a journal for myself um, using my mixed media paper. So this one is the black fabric. This one is one and three quarter inches wide for the spine. Because I knew I was going to be using the mixed media paper, which is a thicker paper, um, I did get five signatures and I did fold it on the correct grain so that it wouldn't, um, the paper would fold nicely but it did fill it up quite, it's quite heavy actually. It's got quite a lot of paper in there and I put a little bit of fabric um, for a header and a, on each end there. I've used an elastic closure and this is one of the Tim Holtz closure screw-on little beads. Um, I've added my own little book plate with the word journal here and I've added a piece of ribbon along the spine I was worried that the fabric would start to fray a little bit because I'd be using this quite a little, quite a lot. So um, I did put a little piece of ribbon along the spine there. And then on the inside of this one, this is actually the inside 
end paper of another Reader's Digest book. I saved all the end papers and made little tickets out of them and I had some left over. So this is actually the inside end papers of another book and I just put it on the inside here. And that's the screw on the back of that little Tim Holtz closure. Um, the, this is a pocket that I made from an envelope and I made a whole bunch of these out of six by six paper. And this is literally an envelope about that size and I've just cut the end off and made some little pockets out of them covering them with some paper. So this is the front pocket and this holds my business card in the front. And then for the paper I just um, grabbed some origami paper and just for like a little decoration on each of the signatures I just put like a little strip on each signature and then I just took my mixed media paper it was 14 inch paper and this book is seven and a half inches tall so when I cut the paper I ended up with a, a shorter five and a half inch piece so I just decided to include it in the book so I've got full sheets and little what I call three quarter pages in here and there's quite a few pages I've sewn it with some wax linen thread in white and then each signature has this this little origami paper around the outside. Now sewing it in, when I sewed the signature in, um, in the course Nick uses fabric to sew your signatures to, I actually used some Tyvek paper and this is one of those white Tyvek envelopes. Um, I just bought a great huge 10 by 14 envelope and I put some tissue paper on it and that's the paper, the Tyvek envelope with the tissue paper on it. And that's what I sew my signatures to because it's really, really sturdy. Um, this Tyvek envelope is that waterproof type and it bends and it doesn't crack or anything. So that's actually what I use instead of fabric. Um, so that's in the back. That's what I've sewn my signatures to. And then I've glued the flaps into the book and covered it with the paper. So this is just mixed media paper. And I believe, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I've got nine sheets in each signature. So that's 18, so that's 36 pages per signature. And I've got five signatures. And then in the back, I've just used the other half of that pocket envelope that I've made. Um, so you can put something in here as well in the back. And then for my closure, I just took a piece of elastic and I purchased these online. They're like little stoppers that you crimp onto the end of your elastic so that when you push the elastic through your hole, and I put the eyelid in first, I should have put it in after I put my end paper in, these little um, feet stop it from coming all the way through. And then that's my closure. It's just a piece of elastic and it goes over like that. Now you can use a hair elastic. You can just put the other end through that and then you know how you do that little knot where you put it through the <laughs> through the loop <laughs> and then you can just use that as a closure but I found those feet online so I'm going to use it so this is my personal artist journal that I'm going to use for the next couple of months and I wanted to use up again what I had in stock I didn't want to have to go out and buy anything new I'm trying to use what I have so I had these Tyvek envelopes um, already I had the tissue paper all this I had the fabric I had bought these pair of jeans at a thrift store. Um, they were huge and I cut them all up and was using them for something else. And then I had quite a few bits left over. Um, so I used that. So the denim ones are going to have, and again, they're not finished or sewn in, but they're going to have mostly um, tea stained paper and I'm going to decorate them, but there's ledger paper. Let me just move this out of the way. Ledger paper, tea stained paper, blind paper, craft paper. Um, this is like an antique photocopy paper and then I did buy some vintage ledgers and I'm actually using some of the vintage ledger paper in these as well. Um, I tried, there was one then the paper was a little crispy so I didn't want to use that in these but these, this one's fine. It's nice and thick. Um, lots of tea stain. This is the vintage ledger paper and I've just included that in there as well. Um, so and then scrapbooking paper that's been tea stained. So I've got all kinds of different paper in each of them. There's another one of the vintage ledger papers, tea stain paper, craft paper, line paper. So that's kind of what I'm doing. I haven't embellished any of them. I may stamp them and stencil them and add pockets and all that kind of stuff, but I just literally cut all the papers um, the day before and made sure they all fit. 
So I'm going to be embellishing next week and then I'll sew them all in. So these will probably be done and ready to go by the end of next week. Um, I'm just taking it my time. I'm not rushing. I'm not trying to hurry and get a whole bunch done. Uh, I'm just going at my own speed and trying to get some reading done as well. So that's what I've been working on. I just wanted to share my journal. I did finish it. I will post it on my Instagram. Uh, but I did want to share with you that the using the mixed media paper, it's kind of nice to have an art journal. And this I can use watercolor on, pen and ink, uh, and pencil, sketching, whatever. Um, so I wanted to use up that because I had quite a large pad of the mixed media paper and wanted to make up my own personal journal. So that's it for now. Um, I will do a flip through once I finish these journals and then I will move on to, I have a couple more done with the black spines as well with some floral. Um, covers and I'll work on those after this but thanks so much for watching I hope everybody's staying safe I hope you're creating um, following people subscribe to my channel I'll try and do some more um, tutorials coming up uh, just taking my time kind of getting back into the swing of it um, now that the nice weather's um, coming along we we're trying to get outside as much as we can um, being housebound is starting to we're starting to go a little stir crazy so um, please stay safe keep in touch with your friends stay creative and we'll talk to you real soon. Thanks so much for watching. Bye now.